So we're already inside of 2023. We're having a great year, but there are so many mobile games coming out this year that we just can't miss. I'm talking about mobile games that are must try games. Ones that when they come out, you're gonna download them instantly on your phone and try them because they are that anticipated and they have potential of being that good. So today I'm sharing with you my top 10 list of those 10 games that are must try that you have to play and you have to download on day one. Let's start out the list today with a game that you already knew was going to be on the list, and that is Call of Duty Warzone. This game has been getting so much hype and has really been highly anticipated by the community as being one of the most anticipated, best, most excited about shooters coming to mobile. Many people are already right now loving Call of Duty Mobile, but Warzone is the latest and the greatest opportunity to dive into that Call of Duty realm. This one being in a Battle Royale style game. Now, of course, Call of Duty Mobile does have Battle Royale as well, but Call of Duty Warzone is just going to be doing it a bit different. It's a must play, a must try, especially if you're into shooters. This one is going to be good. I just, just know it. Number two on today's list is Destiny, and that's right, Destiny is going to be making its way over to mobile, which is exciting because we're looking at here a game that's made by the creators of Halo, which everyone absolutely loves, and it's a nice, fun PvP and PvE game. I don't know, man. Destiny is something that I will definitely be downloading and excited to play because it has some really smooth mechanics. It's just a really fun game with an endless amount of material inside of the game for us to play. If you're into battlers, melee, or shooters, this game is one that won't let you down. And if you like doing all that with something that's in your pocket being your phone, you have the perfect opportunity for you to dive in and really invest some time. Right now, you have the opportunity to dive into something that's really going to take up a bunch of your time and that you're absolutely going to love. Now, we can't talk about Destiny without talking about Warframe because Warframe is also in the works to drop this year in 2023. Another game that has been massive on Steam, being PC, and is really just a beautiful game. This one seems to be a little bit further along in development as we're watching some gameplay of it happening right now. And this is another one of those PvE and PvP style games, open world, where you can unlock multiple different Warframes, which are basically your battlers over time, that all have those different unique abilities that make your gameplay experience different as you progress throughout the game. This is a free to play title on Steam and has really done well on the platform. It's been around for some time. The development team knows what they're doing and I think they're gonna really deliver a solid experience for us gamers on mobile. Next we have Ashfall and what this game basically is, is a Fallout game, but on mobile. And no, it's not actually Fallout, but it's the same type of a post-apocalyptic or post big bomb game where you're gonna be having to build up your survival techniques, mechanics, and you're gonna need to make sure that you have everything that it takes to survive in that open world. There's so many things about this game that remind me and many others of Fallout, and I think that it's really going to deliver and be a really nice experience, a nice Fallout style experience, but on our mobile devices. Another one that is by far a must play, there's really no option but to try this one, I also like the cover systems and just the nice battle mechanics that the game has to offer. So far on the list, what is your favorite game? Which one can you so far just not deny when it comes out? Are you definitely going to play? Let me know in the comments section below. Path of Exile Mobile. Now I did just put a video out on my Echo Gaming Diablo channel focused on Path of Exile Mobile and saying, is the game even actually coming? Because it's been so long, but we have heard word that there's gonna be uh, information being told this summer regarding the release of Path of Exile Mobile. I do believe that it's actually gonna be coming. I have high hopes for it. And as someone that loves action RPGs and games like Diablo, I highly anticipate this one. But if you're looking for an action RPG that you could play right now on mobile, that'll kind of take place of this. You have Diablo, Mortal, Undecember, and Torchlight as your three best choices. But being a free to play style game right now on PC, Path of Exile Mobile opens up the window to a really nice action RPG game with a ton of depth that has free to play abilities here. Hopefully we're only gonna have to worry about playing and paying for skins 
and maybe even some storage space and not have to worry about having to pay for power the way that it happens inside of our lovely Diablo Immortal. Earth Revival is being created for both PC and mobile. We're talking about a cross-platform title right here, and this is a sci-fi open-world shooter-style game. Reminds me of games that we used to play back in the day on Xbox and really looks like a nice big battler. I love the idea of this one being open world and I really do like the idea that it's going to be on both mobile and PC because that seems to be the way that things are going these days. I'm always open for futuristic style shooters and this one seems like it could be a big one on mobile specifically. I'm looking forward to it. It reminds me of a mixture of games like Gears of War and other shooters that we know, as I mentioned, from the olden days of Xbox. Project Stars is next, and this is our open world atmospheric style game that is going to give us amazing possibilities for exploration, for building, and just for fun gameplay on mobile devices. I really like this one mostly because of how beautiful the game actually is. It's going to give you the opportunity to explore a different world and a world that's not only different, but different than anything else that we've seen on PC or on mobile with creatures that we're not used to seeing before, building mechanics that we haven't seen before, open world mechanics that we love to see in many different games and just a whole new space weird style game that is just not out there yet. I'm not sure if this one's going to be the biggest from today's list, but it's definitely going to be one that you're not going to want to miss. Now, we mentioned COD Warzone, but now it's time to talk about The Division. The Division is coming over to mobile as well, which is really, really exciting. We have a bit of a more objective-based shooter right here, and one that is not as popular as the Call of Duty series, but done extremely well on PC and console, and I would anticipate the same type of care and love put into it here on mobile as well sometimes you just don't want to play call of duty you want something different you want a different style and the division is going to bring you that i can't wait to play this one i think it's going to be one of the top shooters of the year and it's something that you're going to want to make sure that you download as well assassin's creed code name jade is next and this is an assassin's creed game unlike any other that's come to mobile because this one is actually like a real Assassin's Creed game, not just using the IP of Assassin's Creed to kind of bring you a different type of gameplay style. Now you can tell this one's an early development because we're just getting a fly through right here, but we should be seeing this one at some point in 2023. And for those of you that are into the stealth gameplay mode that we all love from Assassin's Creed, this is one you're gonna wanna keep on your radar and download the moment it comes out and look, waiting right there on the ledge. Tell me that doesn't make you want to play. And last on today's list, we have Valorant Mobile. Valorant is your objective-based game with all different types of characters that have all different types of battle mechanics. And I mean, this is one of the more popular shooters on PC and on console right now. So you take that, you bring it over to mobile, and you could really feel good about the experience that we're about to encounter, that we're about to embark on. I really like Valorant on PC, and I think that we're going to see something that we really do enjoy, maybe even more than The Division, on mobile as well. This will be a big competitor to Call of Duty Warzone, and I can't wait to see how it stacks up. I can't wait to see how this one plays. I absolutely love how the artwork looks. It's realistic with that hint of comic book feel. And I love the abilities that you have from all the different players, the characters that you could play inside of the game. This one's gonna be another one that you can't miss, but really that's all of them from today's list. So out of the 10 games, how many will you actually download and play? I personally think that all 10 are worthy of your time, but you're your own person and you probably think your own things. While you're down there, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all of the game recommendations I have for you every single day.